Get your ass out. What do you mean my ass is out? My ass is- I'm not even in the I screen. See, I can see your Kyo-san, why are you dangling? Why are you dangling, Kyo-san? Dude, schlong. Yeah. Listen here, dog. Alright, let's go. Pop Chop showed me his schlong. I feel very violated. Of course he did. I'm gonna bring my coffee with me. What am I doing? <laughs> he's huge. He's I didn't even believe you. Yo, I he said, of, no, he believed me. He yeah, just said, of course yeah, he did. But, yeah, he probably did. Oh, look at that chad like beard. <laughs> Dude, my beard's like. Brilliant. Look at that shape, too. It's actually starting to come out like pretty good. It's definitely happy. got some real. Yeah, Ooh, what real. are you drinking, Rex? Alright. So, okay. fucking. Yeah, I figured it was the internet. That makes a lot more sense. How All many right. shots are you in, Mark? Um, I'm like five. Five, five in, this and I'm holding a beer. Put your chat on screen. What? Ah, oh, true. Good point. Are you streaming? What am I doing? Alright, before you start, I'm doing a how to pick up girl stream. I hope that, like, now, uh, so. hell yeah, Sad. dude. Oh, I am dropping frames like crazy, though. Holy shit. Deuce is like crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Why am I dropping frames? I'm gonna have to, like, drop the output. It's just gonna be upsetting. Drop it to, like,. My 2000 I like that one scene from the from that Eddie Murphy movie. Not 200 kilobytes per second. What am I doing? Apply. Is that chain? Chain. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Hopefully so that's fine. On? Uh, are they alert on? That should be good. On. Everything's on. Everything's oh, good. Yeah. Cool. All right, should be good. All right. Let's do it. You give me like a minute to do the intro, and then we can fuck around, right? So. Today, first cooking stream. Fucking big times. Big times. Alright? We're making chili con veggie. It's fucking 400 calories a serve. 25 grams of protein. Protein champ! Let's do it, eh? Alright, now you can start fucking around again. That's what You're I'm a sure. vegan. You can't have protein. 25 grams of fucking protein. All the good amino acids, too. It's like, damn, dude. Wait, I want to see your chat. I can see your chat. Yeah, that's how like I, I have, usually oh. have my setup. Oh wait, if you're streaming, I have to fucking mod now. Let's yeah, you do. That's right. You're one of my mods. Oh no. All right. To claptraps on ironically a good mod. All right. So one thing I actually want to show Dawn, because I know I you've never do fucking anything. done this. You have like a. Did I just like? What's that? What's the notification? Let's have a look. I got a follower. What's going on, Chain Drain? Brother, thanks for the follow. All right. Um. Fuck, I need to have something closer to me to do this shit. So I leave train. Alright. Dawn, have you cut an onion before? What's your laugh. Twitch username? What's your Twitch username? It's KY0S4N. I would All laugh right. if you did that shit in a whole Kogan voice. Brother. Mm, brother. Thanks for the follow, brother. <laughs> Alright, I'll put it up here. I got it. Huh. Alright. Is that you, Mark? Mark. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm here. Mm, thanks for the follow, Mark, brother! Alright. Wait, I didn't follow you. What are you talking oh, about? Oh shit, someone got us up. That yeah. No. What was the... You're, Please help me out with the notifications. Got, uh, I have no idea my computer. You got, uh, Dawn subbed for two months. Wait, do you guys know what... Wait, did you, Dawn? Holy shit, you're such a good fucking bloke. I love you so much. Like, I don't run to you. Why is Mark Doof unavailable? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Wait. Dawn, are you looking at the camera? What's all these notifications? Yeah. Why am I popping off? You're getting a bunch of followers. Yeah. Okay, sick. Thanks for the follow, Axe King. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, fuck, I should probably pull my Twitch up on my phone. I'm gonna do that right now, so I don't have to fucking keep jumping back and forth. Alright, so. Dawn. As I know you need mm -hmm. this, but this is for the benefit of everyone on stream. And teach you how to cut. No, Dawn, Dawn has cut an onion before. Has he cut an onion good, though? Oh, I haven't. There was garlic, not onion. Good or well? Come on, Kyo. I you cut an onion before. Wait, no. Are you gonna correct people's grammar? I am gonna correct gonna... people's cutting onions. Okay, so first we do is chop the top off, right? Because then you got a stable base to cut okay. it on. Yeah? Easy shit. Oh, that oh my god, you're so greeny. Was beautiful. Pardon? That autofocus was beautiful. Yeah, I know, right? How fucking good. Um, alright. Cut it down the center. Do not cut the root, right? When you cut the root, that's what makes you cry. Like, unironically, if you want to, like, cut an onion and get through it and have beat, like, a decent experience, make sure that this. Stays on, oh, yeah. What is that? What? It's the root it's of the, the onion. The top of the onion. Oh. So you just peel the onion from here, like having like the sides off makes it like way easier to do. You just moan. 
That was right. I don't know. But that notice, like, totally no cry, no problems, no nothing yet. I've cut the onion in half. Easy as shit, right? As long as don't you don't cut the root off. Yeah, I know. As long as you don't cut the root off, you're all fucking set to keep, like, everything intact, right? Let me make sure. Wait, I've got, like, a thing bowl over here, don't I? Oh, no, I don't. I'm using all of my bowls for the oh, stewards shit, tonight. Oh, shit, feed on cam. Everyone take screenshot. <laughs> Abby <laughs> Shapiro, dude. <laughs> Okay, so, we're supposed to be more prepared than this. Alright, so when we're cutting onions, if you want to dice it, first things first, and do not, when you're cutting, it's knuckles down, right? So if you've got, like, your cutting surface, this is what you're doing, right? Because if you hit the side with the knife, you're going to just, like, maybe lose, like, a little bit of skin here. You're not going to be able to do, like, cut your finger off, lose a nail, anything like that, right? Knuckles always down when you're cutting, right? Easy stuff. Hold it in. What you're looking for here, and this is bad knife work, please, don't judge, is to cut along here first, right? Don't go all the way through, because like we said before, if you cut through, you're going to start bleeding, uh, and your knife's going gonna to make you cry, right? See that? All I've done there is like cut a nice split down the onion, but it's not all the way through. Other one as well. What are you doing to Shrek? Pardon? What are you doing to Shrek? Right. So still, same one, like that, right? So, after that... What we're gonna do so we're gonna do our cuts down here yeah so we've cut across this way and we're cutting down here right line it up nice and tight see how knuckles out first holding everything in place yeah same as before all fanned out you got the split down the middle and all those splits there same with the other one Wash your hands? Yeah, of course. You watched me like do my dishes and wash my hands wow. before. For the, the stream prep, okay? And then, right, when we cut along this way, what you're going to see is it's going to come out nice and diced. So knuckles down. Mark, check your DMs. I just made a Twitch account. Oh, God damn it. And see how the onion that comes out, no tears, and it's all nice and diced and ready to go. Easy shit. Cutting onions is way fucking easier than people make it out to be, okay? There's no crying. It comes out like perfect every fucking time. It's good shit, right? Easy fucking shit. Alright, now try to make yourself cry on purpose. <laughs> uh, I wish my dad had come back and my mom never beat me. Oh, Jesus. Well, why can I relate to that so much? <laughs> I need to be a follower of your son to chat. That one hit too close to home, literally. Yeah. Thanks for the follow, I'm guessing Mark Doof. Alright, cool. So we've got the fucking onions are all nice and prepped. Lost an onion there, it's all good. Alright. We got our leek next. Look at this fucking thing, right? Same as an onion, same shit. Top comes off, right? You can keep the leek leaves if you want for stock. I am lazy and use powdered stock, right? But, if you were keeping scraps for stock, useful shit. Who followed me? Whoever you are, I appreciate you. That, that was me. Good shit. Thanks for the follow, brother. Same shit as the onions before, right? But it's just like straight... This isn't going to make you cry. It should be fine. Unless you're a big baby. And it's just... Nice and thin, right? <laughs> Don't judge me. Everyone's so quiet. This is like, uh... This, this is, is, all popping a, this off before. is the worst porn ever, dude. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, like, I'm trying to get hard, and I am dummy soft. Dummy soft. That's like you in a nutshell, though. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, listen. I can assure you that none of the women in my lovely life have ever said such a thing. Oh, they didn't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> You're late. Yeah. Is there is there women in question? I didn't know there was even one. Oh, I, 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 I. Listen, listen, I'm, listen. I'm listening. It is in fact impossible. I'm just trying to Alrighty. enjoy my time here. Is, I ain't here to fact, talk shit. It is in fact impossible for shit. zero women to say something. Oh, hey, it's Luca. What's right. going on, buddy? Luke, you coming in for the fucking vegan cooking streams? This is a vegan cooking stream? Nobody told me it would be a vegan <coughs> cooking stream. This is, okay, no, no, so to be clear... Oh, my name. 
To be clear, I'm going to tell I you love... when. If you if you want to make this like a meat dish, you can. It's pretty easy. Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you when to add meat if you want to. Okay, but otherwise, you've got 25 grams of fucking protein and 400 calories. Like, why the fuck would you want to add meat to this? Okay, um, because right, because I, like I don't know about really you, good. but my meals are usually 800 calories. Okay. Okay, Eat three of those a day, that's still not day. enough. Like, why you, like, All right. actually a little bit more than you need, but... If you eat three 400 meal calories a day, you're under malnourished, okay? That's all I'm saying. Thanks for okay. your last buddy. Look, I usually beef this out with like, uh, I'll have like, some, uh, some multi-grain toast or something. Why did I put the root in here? Jesus Christ. Um, I'll usually beef this out, I'll chuck it on some like, multi-grain toast or something. Um, to give it like, a little bit of body and, like, to make it like, hold longer, but usually what's going to make you feel like more satiated is having like higher protein, right? You don't need the high calories if you have like a pretty decent protein count in your meals. True. Alright, so next up we got all the uh, the spices. So this is, um the recipe I'm using is for a 10 batch. I'm not making 10 batches worth of chili, I only need like 5, right? This is like lunches for the week. Uh, if you want to like, I'll have like the recipe in, in the description, description when I upload this, right? Um, but... Yeah, I don't need that many. So this is, uh, the recipe. Like, mixed herbs. Could you mail some of this to us? Um, Just make it no, yourself. What? It would fucking, it would fucking rot on the way. No, Especially I Especially mean, to America, you guys don't even have post service anymore. What? Yeah. It barely um, works. I think, um, because of the recent action against the post service, like, so much food and animals have died in the fucking... Cinnamon? In the, What's like, that one? Places. What's that one? So that's cinnamon. It's so cinnamon. you got, cinnamon. this is mixed herbs. Uh, you can use oregano, but I like the mixed herbs over the oregano, right? It's just like a preference. Um, so it's about like a half a teaspoon. I'm going to be too lazy to change my teaspoon, so. Right? That's a lot of cinnamon. No, it's not so much. That's alright. Um, so we got. Yeah. Coriander. Half a teaspoon ground coriander a teaspoon? seeds. That's a half a teaspoon in there. Oh, okay. So that's one teaspoon of the ground coriander. One teaspoon of cumin. How good is this autofocus? Fucking on point. Let's go, Canon. Focus on your feet earlier, so I don't know, man. And one teaspoon of paprika. I had like a heat teaspoon of paprika. I'm a big paprika. I fucking love this shit. Okay. I think that's all my spices I need. So let me double, double check. Maybe. I think it's salt and cracked pepper, but I'll add that as I go. Yeah, salt and cracked pepper. Okay, so season at every step. I think that's like all of my prep done, right? That was just onion, leek, um, and spices all ready to go. That's the mix done, right? So just like fucking. You have established mise en scène. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring you all over with me to the. Uh... Fuck, how am I gonna do this? Hey, old dog. No, I should be good. Okay. Alrighty, stream, you come for a walk with me. What broke? What stopped? There was that the camera? Did I lose camera? Yep. Utility beta. Oh, fucking course. Are you using a beta, not an alpha camera? Of Who the course. hell is breathing into their mic? Who's breathing? I think that's Luke. Yep. What? I can hear. Like, there's a breeze going through your mic. Yeah, okay. that. yeah, that's that. Yeah. That's pretty shit. I have Chris on. Should be close to your ears. Should be oh, yeah, it's coming out. The yeah, air's coming out again. See how many people laugh, Chad King? Alright. Let's go get along for a minute, right? Yeah, Chris really should, good? Be should be getting that. Let me, let me look at this. Uh, oh, yeah, we've actually got like a decent angle here. Let's fucking go, boys! And girls. Alright. Boys is gender neutral. True. Alright. Fucking lights on. Let's get this fucking shit going. Low heat, right? How good is my stove top? I love this shit. Cool. Oh, gas. gas gas is like the way to go. Like two hundred percent, right? Like Honestly, facts. I just got some extra virgin olive oil, right? You don't want now, an electric stove. 
Real shit, you might have heard yeah, some shit about using... Yeah, 200%. It's more consistent. Um, you might have heard some shit about uh, using extra virgin olive oil as a cooking agent, right? Because people have gone around saying, like, high smoke point oils are usually uh, cause cancer if they're cooked too high. That's only if you cook it at a consistently high temperature for a very long time on free radicals, right? Otherwise, you just get extra flavor. It's generally better, right? Get the fucking Evo in the pan. We're cooking, like, a fair bit of, like, thirsty veggies, so add a fair bit. So it's like something like two or three tablespoons. I don't know. Just pour the shit in there. Thirsty veggies. They're thirsty, thirsty so you veggie. give them extra virgin olive oil. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've got my... Now, like, normally also, like when I did my prep, right, if you're, like, not a scrub like me, you'd uh, you'd be crushing your ginger... Not crushing your ginger, like, mincing your garlic... I just use minced garlic. You just use a little bit extra, it's fine. And it means it can stay in your fridge and you can actually use it and you don't have to do that bullshit prep every single time. I think you're dropping a lot of frames. Am I? I fucking hope not. I dropped down to, uh, to 2k. Now we're talking bodies. My like, I shouldn't be dropping frames because my performance on my CPU is at like 30%. The temps are down. The GPU performance isn't high. Um, I probably dropped some frames at the start and they're carrying over. No, I wonder if I can, I'm going to have to change the focus manually on the lens though. Unless I change like the focus point. Um, I'm going to have to change the focus point. God damn it. Oof. There we go. Alright. So if you want to test, if you like oil's hot, get like a little bit of water on your finger. This isn't like super recommended you if you're like not like a scrub. In it. And if you like flick water at it like that and it spits up, your oil's like hot enough, but it's not, so I'm going to blast it. Don't burn your oil, Kilson. Now, I want to clarify something. Uh, I was supposed to have uh, tomato paste for this recipe. It's not a super big addition. I couldn't find any in my fridge. I swear I had some. So. Did you eat it? I'll say when that's supposed to go in. What? No, tomato paste is like, uh, it's like aged and like boiled down, like tomatoes. Oh my bad, I thought you meant tomato sauce. No, 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 tomato paste. Add water. Yeah, what makes this shit thick? You gotta add some flour now. No, you don't add any flour to this recipe. This is just like a boiled down simmer and chill recipe. What just cut out? Did my yeah. camera really just drop again? Back. Is it really doing this shit? What You're the fine. fuck? You're fine. That's no, fine. It's fine. Mark. It's fine. What? I, I don't know if Derpy's getting back on. Um, I'm gonna spam Derpy, and if Derpy doesn't get back on, I'm gonna cry, and I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Paste. Could you substitute the tomato paste with, like, stock of some kind? Like, vegetable stock or. Yeah, 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 sure. So, um, what the tomato paste does is it just beefs up the tomato flavor because you're adding in, like, old-ass, like, stretched-out tomatoes. Um, I don't know if, like, if your stock's, like, really good, maybe, but, like, probably not. It just, like, adds tomato flavor to it. Um, it sounds like you can hear that, right? That's the water, like, doing its thing. You had some tomato soup. You might use it, you maybe use that as a replacement. But that is still like watered down the recipe, and um, you wouldn't be beefing up the flavor itself. You'd just be adding tomato and stretching it out. Um, cool. Right, so we've got our onions here. Uh, we're just going to add all those in now. Oh, how fucking good are cooking onions, though? Like, legit. Now I've got all my leeks in here, you can see them probably in the pan. Um, I might actually like raise the camera up in a sec, and uh, so you can see a bit better. But... So I'll see what we can do. New stream's freezing a lot. Freezing? Your stream's doing better on Discord than it is on fucking Twitch. <laughs> yeah, like oh. it's dropping frames, you keep loading, and then it's getting pushed back further and further. 
streaming simultaneously on Discord and Twitch may be, may be producing some problems. Yeah, it probably is, but uh, if I... Yeah. This is for the benefit of the homies more than it is for stream. It's just stream con extra stream content. So if it isn't working out as well, we'll figure it out later. You know? Like on stream, you just dropped your onions in on stream. Um, yeah, okay, so it's probably dropped a few frames. That's okay, it's still good. Alright, we've still got power, we're still in, everything's all good. And now you all can see my uh, onions a bit better. Except I should probably change it to manual focus and force it to focus on the pain, because Jesus Christ. So, name of the game with chili, low and slow, right? We're going we're gonna to keep it at low temp, and we're going to be cooking it for a little while. We're going to be hanging out together, it's going to be cute, alright? Because like with onions, what you're looking to do is get them to like a point where they're translucent, right? Um, so, because if you put them on a higher heat, what you're going to be doing is browning them, and you're not going to get that nice sweetness out of them that you want for like a chili. Or almost any dish really. Because what you're looking to do when you cook your onions is like break down the cell walls and draw out like the sugars that are in them. Oh god, the bit rate. Oh no. Hmm? Is it dropping? The bit rate. Everything is like dropping. I got so the bit right on like caramelize your onions. What? No, I'm caramelizing my onions right now. So like one point of which, yeah, yeah. So one point at which I'd like really like spend time caramelizing my onions. It would probably be um, like a French onion soup or something, right? Or if I'm specifically looking to make like a caramel onion jam for like burgers or something. But like. When they're getting translucent, that's when they're getting halfway there. They get translucent because the the stuff's starting to come out of them. I'm gonna close the stream on my face then, because um, that might be like affecting it. Hopefully not. I'll just try to close any like. Have you considered going on Master Chef? No, I'm not a Master Chef, not at all. I know like enough about like um, I know like a little bit about like the science and stuff, and from when I actually so like a little bit of background. Uh, my first job was in chefing. My family's like a, a cooking family, um, and if you don't like the difference between like a cook and a chef is like I'm cooking right now, um, right, and a chef might add like a very different like amounts of things to recipes, right? They'll make like chefs cooks make things in like bulk and like big like home style recipes whereas like chefs are very much like um make make very refined smaller dishes you'll know it's like the difference between going for like a, a nice cafe breakfast and then like a like a decent cafe breakfast at uh, the diner or like a nice night out at a good restaurant in which case i now hate chefs and love cooks yeah pretty much yeah. I want I want I want quite like there's a there's diminishing returns on quality and food and so I'm saying yeah true <clears throat> at some point you just want some more I think there's like um there's like a bit in um like you all have watched like uh food wars right do you know what I'm talking about the anime I yeah I don't know back in yeah 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 so like there's a bit in there right where they talk about how right. and I can't remember what arc okay. it is um, where he's cooking a meal, right, and they're eating the meal, and it's like, this is great. Uh, but the judges are like, no, nah, I'm not into it. And they say, why? And basically the idea is that, like, Yuki here is used to cooking in a diner, right? So what you want in your diner is a meal that people can sit down and enjoy and come back to very consistently, right? Whereas, like, with a chef, you want to create a memorable experience, something that fucking punches you in the face. Because people aren't going to... <sighs> fucking thing. Um, people aren't going to, like, be coming back all the time for the same meal, you know what I mean? Like, the, the goals are different in the, the food that they make. Where put my coffee? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is chat on my screen anymore? Oh no, it's just like fading away. I see. I'm done. <clears throat> I 
I forgot that I like changed the settings for chat so I didn't like hang around all the time. Um, oh god, Vigan is at it again. What's Vigan done? Uh, I don't know. All I saw was next. You should see how you're completely refusing to acknowledge that your logic is flawed at Mighty Thor. Is this in like voice chat or like Dencha? Oh boy. Oh, I was in my general. I've almost finished my Peppo Pepe. Oh. Test. Yes. Alright, we're going to add the chili in because I'm dumb and I was supposed to do this at the start. Now again, uh, if I was using chopped chili, I'd probably be using about a, a full <coughs> a full chili. Um, but I'm using minced chili. This shit is the fucking best. Again, you keep it in your fridge, you don't have to worry about if you're going to use it or not. And it's still focusing on the pan. Um, so I'm going to use about a teaspoon of this. Now that's probably a fair bit of chili. Maybe a little bit too much. Uh, but we're making fucking chili, we're not making pansy ass bitch food. And I'm also going to add to the spices, because I'm going to change my mind and do shit like this. Okay, we've got like chipotle chili, and I'm going to add that. Is this it here? No, it's the chili flakes. I don't want chili flakes. I've already got chili flakes in it. Yeah, here we go. So I'm going to add about like a... Hmm. I'm just going to grab a spoon and add whatever I want in there. I'm going to add about what, what we'd consider like a half a teaspoon in. Send my son, how are you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm surprised you don't use magic. I use what? How are you doing, Rex? Uh, I'm surprised drinking. you don't use a scale. <laughs> a scale? Like weighing everything? You can feel it. What do you mean? You suck yeah, it. Yeah, like imagine, yeah, like weighing everything. Um, so... If I'm doing, like, my, like, more... If I'm, like, really focusing on my diet, right? Which I'm probably going to do over the next week. Um, I'll be weighing literally everything, uh, measuring everything out, because I want to know exactly what's going into my food and how I can, like, calculate it out. Um, just going to add that spice mix from before, so I've added the chipotle on top. Um, but, uh, if I'm not, then it's, like, usually, like, usually I'll just go by feel. I'll add shit in, and I'll taste it, and I'll add shit in, and I'll taste it. Now, I obviously can't taste it at this stage, but when I add the stock in a hot minute, I'm going to be able to. I just realised I'm halving this recipe, so I added probably a little bit too much chipotle and chilli, but like I said, it's chilli, not bitch food. Uh oh. I can't even see your stream. Wait, you can't? Ah, uh, it's like really it's slow. too much chilli. It's kind of slow. Oh. So if it, it's going to get a bit dry at this point, right? Because you've just added like a whole bunch of stuff that sucks up moisture, like cinnamon. You might want to add some water back into it if you want. It's up to you. Tell you. Is that a Starbucks cup? Is that a Starbucks cup? It's Sombreros, which is like Australian Gold okay. Coast Starbucks. It's like significantly better.
So I'm using like a stainless steel pot, so I'm probably going to get some fond on the bottom here. Well, it would have been if I didn't add that like uh, a bit of water there, but still. That stuff is going to stick to the bottom as you cook here, and when you add everything to it, it's going to pull it off. It'll be fucking beautiful. Uh -huh. Alright. I'm going to start in the background while that cooks. I'm going to start pulling out all of the shit from the tins. So we're going to pull out the beans, which we've got two tins of. Going to pull out the... So these are red kidney beans, two tins of those. Black beans, I've got two tins of those. And brown lentils, I've got two tins of those. Mm. So you got a bunch of different proteins, the different protein profiles. It's good shit, right? I fucking found this oh, out the other day. Is random metallic eating. Yeah, pretty much. It's just me knocking the shit out of the bottom of the things. Oh. All right. Oh, uh, listen. Look who joins. Siri. Hey, Siri. What's going on? I don't know what this is. I didn't even know there was going to be a chicken oh! Vegan cooking. I didn't announce it for an event or something. I was just like, I decided I'm going to cook today. I'm going to do it for stream. And, uh, I thought I'd just make like a chat for it to see if anyone wanted to come hang out. Probably. Yeah, that's great. What are we making? We're making chili con veggie. It's a vegan version of chili con carne. Mm. Yay. Now, if you're adding meat to this... I would, which I advise against. <clears throat> but if you're adding meat to this, I'd add it now, right? Before I add the beans. Because it'll give you a chance to like brown it off and still be good. No, so look at how this is coming along. Yeah, so see how we got all the brown shit on the bottom of the pot now? That's what you want. Oh, it smells so good. It okay. Pardon? It alright. Uh, I'm looking at general chat. It alright. Wait, what are you saying? Is it okay? Is it in my food? No, yeah. no, is Ed okay? Oh, is Ed okay? I don't know. Alright, so here comes all the beans and lentils. So does your Twitch chat typically know what server you hang out on? Yep, I, if you have a look on my screen, you can see that I've got a, uh, a join Calliopean club. Come and join the conversation. Had a few people come uh, in from it. Um... But people like gen to, tend to like generally space their involvement with what they want, right? So like giving people the option to come yeah. and join the conversation if they want to is like cool. But like most people just want to sit down and listen to something in the background or like chill. You know what I mean? Or they even want if they want to hear uh, someone's obnoxious accent grind up against their ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's why people watch American streamers, right? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. We got sexy accents, all right. No. After all, I no. mean, everybody wants to be Southern. <laughs> You're insane. That's. I am perfectly sane, and that's the unfortunate part. No. Oh. I've created something horrible. Nope. I love it. I I took well, I took a peek. It looks good. Yeah. How much? Ooh. Stock, I'm adding this in a second. So I've added all the beans and stuff. Oh god, I fucking hate this PowerPoint. Synthrill has joined our ranks. Get a Synthrill. Is it coming back on? It's not. Wait, what? Synthrill? Wait, you Synthrill here? Mm hmm. Yo. Yo, what's up? Not much. Synthrill, I made a horrible meme and the meme. Mark, being drunk is very odd things to your personality. Not oh, really. Okay. I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what mean? I made it in the memes count the bottom. I think it's weirder to my personality than it is the marks. Alright. Next up are the tin tomatoes. 
um, before that stuff starts to burn because I can't think in advance. And now I can't find my can opener. There we are. That was a little bit of a scare. Is that your name appearing at the bottom? Oh, what are all these names? Prosper, Don, Ayaya. You know, that's people in my uh, Twitch Prosper's chat because the homies man. are hanging out. Oh, I don't Prosper. see any of them. I feel like I'm the only one here. Prosper is the one son I had with the very. I, I actually won't put It's the son. Latino woman, right? No, he's <laughs> Middle Eastern. He, he can't be descended from a Latino woman. Right, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah. So I, I I dated a uh, probably I don't know. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Crazy girl. All right, this is um this is where we learn that cooking isn't perfect and shit fucking happens and shit happens fucking quick. Oh, is that... oh wait. Prosper is the spawn I had when I pretended to be a uh, Muslim for like two months. What you can do is uh, you can you can move your uh, spatula backwards and separate it and redo the step. Yep, that's what I've done. So, Synthral's smart enough to figure out what I did is I forgot to cook my, uh, my garlic. We'll fry it anyway. The stream focuses on your arm here. It shouldn't be, I fucking, like, set the autofocus. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this up, though, because now it's gotta deal with, like, uh, a whole bunch of shit in the pan. Um, and... <laughs> And we're also going to add the stock. So, like, the recipe calls for 1.2 litres, but we've halved everything and includes the stock. So we're going to add about 600 mils of stock. Which is about two and a half-ish cups. Sell, sell, sell. See? It didn't stay focused. Wait, it didn't stay focused? Mm -mm. It says it still says it's focused on my screen. So it's not focused. Yeah. It's... yeah. We're all good. Everything's coming along nice. To defeat, defeat the Hun. Something, something. It's dead. They sent me daughter. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? Okay. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? <laughs> Saddest I ever met. <sighs> this is just the veggie stock. Now, like, if you want to make your own veggie stock, you just keep, like, your scraps, like the leaves from the leeks is, like, a good one. Um, some onions. Generally, like, just break up a piece of garlic. Um, leftover, like, veggie, like, roots and stuff, and just chuck them in a pan with a bunch of water and let it simmer for a couple of hours. Usually pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is all, it's pretty much all in here now, right? We've got all of our flavours. Uh, all the tomatoes in the stocks in. So I'm going to turn it for a little bit. It's going to be simmering down for a while. Um, but when we're all done, I'll give it a taste. We're, just going to, we're going to be hanging out here for a little while. But for the most part, this is a fucking incredibly easy recipe, right? Uh, fully vegan, fucking 25 Gs of protein to serve. Like, how can you get better than that? You can't. You just can't. Beholder, you've been noticed, Senpai. What's that? Hmm? What's that? What's what? What do you add? Oh, um, vegetable stock. Mm. So I like this thick. Hmm? It'll simmer down. You've got like a so what you want to do is right. You've got like a fair like it like it's a fairly small amount of like things in there attributing to the flavor, the stuff that we added at the start, and it's got to make its way around all the dish, right? Hmm. Like right now, what I just tested. Oh, that's spicy though. It's like pretty weak on flavor, but as it simmers down, and as everything gets gets in there and does shit. 
That's going to be real good. I'm going to add have to add like salt to it. I might do that right now. Generally, the earlier you add salt to the cooking process, the better, because it's going to help break down everything in there. Do you cook a lot, sorry? Not anymore. Not anymore? Busy. Like, I have you returned. Know, you're back in like 10. Oh, fuck. How's the cooking channel going? It's going well, dude. It's going pretty fucking well. What are you making? I'm making chili con yeah. veggie. It's like chili con carn, but oh, like made out of fucking beans, dude, and it's good shit. So vegetable soup? Yeah. I mean, on a technical level, I guess. <sighs> In the same yeah, way that a salad right. is just vegetable porridge, sure. Yeah, exactly right. Salad is a vegetable porridge? No. Anyway, um... <laughs> Are you going to put something uh, really spicy in there? I already have. So we got a basis of uh, cumin, coriander, uh, paprika, uh, some chili paste, and some uh, cayenne pepper powder. Mmm, cayenne's good shit. It fucking is, dude. I love that shit. I put that shit in my spaghetti. It's really, really good. Mm. I find adding like, a little bit of chili to your spaghetti is just like the good shit, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like cayenne is just, you know, adds the heat, but it doesn't add any flavor. I've had mistakes before. I was like, oh, I'm going to put like a bunch of fucking cayenne in the shit and really like bring the heat. And it's like, oh, it's just spicy. It's not good. It's like smoky. Well, that's why you bring other. Yeah, that's why you bring other things in for uh, a spicy flavor. If you're going to do something light, like in a spaghetti where you don't want it to be too, too spicy, but you want to get a tiny kick. Yeah, it's good for spiciness, but it doesn't work really well. So you need to bring other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I do what I do. Like, I mix a good eight different things in my spaghetti before, like, it's done. I think sometimes, like, there is, like, going overboard, right? It's, like, something about, like, a good old red sauce with uh, just, like, some oregano and just, like, a little bit of just your tomatoes and just the simplicity of everything with good ingredients that, like, really gets me going, you know? As far as spaghetti, the spaghetti goes, it's a five-cheese base, and then it's, um... It's garlic, salt, it's basil, it's oregano, it's majorum, it's cayenne pepper, it's turmeric, it's tandoori, and then... A You're making a curry at that point. I mean, yeah, whatever it technically is doesn't really matter. And then, like, usually what I'll do is I'll half the sauce, I'll make half of it be, like, a sweet bell pepper mix, and then the other half is five cheese, and then I mix all the herbs in it, and it's wonderful. You said herbs like a regular person, not herbs. 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 Herby derp derp. Where's Durfee? I don't know. I can already... I'm just telling you, Mark, by the time I finish this room, I'm, I'm going to be uh, done drinking. But I do kind of want to go an intellectualist and see what, uh, what crazy shit they're saying. Oh, I see a guy with my real life name. Wait, what? I know your true. real life name. Yeah. Except he has the wrong spelling. Bad. Albert. Ow! Ooh! Bless. Bless. I'm actually going to log into my old on my I'm going to switch to um, this account on computer. Wait, what? Where I put my spoons? There it is. <laughs> so wait, baby, what have you had Don cook so far? Are you um, there? I know. I'm to make him spaghetti. What's happening here? Wait, what? Prosper, you know I'm cooking. Food. 
He's Frost burn. I am, I am. I am in cooking club. It's my favorite Middle Eastern military age male. Wait, have you been here for like the whole chat? I swear I saw you in chat before. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. Well, I just got back from a night out, so. Ah, um, uh, true. Uh, Based. Yeah. Uh, but I'm in the cooking competition, so I thought this was it. Like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm just um, I'm just cooking, cooking some dinner, you know. I'll cook on lunch for the next week. It's gonna be sick. I fucking love chili. All the dishes are due tomorrow, right? For the competition. I fucking hope not. I think it is. Because I need to like the, the 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 dish I got was like specifically needed like certain ingredients that I just don't have because they're fucking Swedish. Bro, oh, same. I have to fun. make, I have to make fucking uh, strawberry red bean mochi, and I gotta get all this rice flour and stuff. I don't know. Who the oh, fuck is Japanese putting mochi. in fucking mochi? Uh, sorry, she's Japanese. <laughs> Wait, sorry, you legit Japanese? Racist. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Kyo-san's like, oh, I can live out all my weeaboo fantasies now. <laughs> no, 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 I just didn't know! Japanese. Who the hell here is Japanese? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, but I look forward to making it. It's gonna be nice. Honestly, that's Thank fucking sick. Wait, sorry. Sorry, have you made mochi before? Good luck. Yes! How'd it go? It's delicious. It's delicious? It's I like. Yeah. I've only ever seen it made. Like I've seen that like the great big story one where they've got like fucking three dudes with a giant fucking hammer like pounding like a massive bit of mochi. <laughs> and that's how I just picture everyone makes mochi in the home is like on the fucking countertop with like a giant hammer. Ah, ah! Oh my god, we've got a Good mochi one. maker. Thanks. A well, mochi maker. It's like a rice yeah, maker. Mochi maker. Mochi maker. Yo, it's a thing, dude. Holy shit. It pounds your mochi yeah. for you. Okay. That's sick. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool, yeah. No, for for um, New Year's we like to do the we, um, we make mochi. Yeah. So you did the same thing that I did, where you put in a recipe that you make once a year to make someone else suffer to make it, right? No, I don't make it once a year. Like, you can make mochi in a microwave, and it can just and it can taste just as good. Fair enough. Yeah. Because that's what I totally did with the comp competition. I put in something that I'd only make once a year to make someone else suffer through. Poor Audi, I think, got stuck yeah. with it. Because, like, what I don't know... Cool. Have you ever made, like, a roux before? Has anyone here made a roux for, like, a, a croquette roux? No. Yes. <laughs> Bambi, you would. I, I wish Bambi, like, I wish you could, like, be my personal chef. And make oh, friends. Yeah, my okay. friends went to culinary school. Chef and baker. Mm. Both. Oh, by the way, so just, like... Oh, my friends are... For the people, like, watching to note... Right? You can see up here, right, where the line was when we started cooking this. And it's already gone down about an inch or two in far of, like, simmering. And those flavours are already starting to, like, come down and come together, you know? So we've had, like, half hour at least I've of simmering. I've actually never had chili. I highly recommend you make this. It's incredibly simple, and it actually tastes, like, really fucking nice. And it's really healthy, because it's all, like, no fat, no fucking, like, low-carb, like, only complex carbs, um, all protein, like, it's all, and it's full of, like, different amino acid profiles. It's fucking amazing. But can you the taste the poison? the poison? What poison? Mm -hmm. The, uh, like, the vegetables and stuff. No, you can't taste the vegetables. It's like, um... Because when you're boiling it down this long, right, your vegetables don't have much texture to them, so you just end up having like this like yummy chili flavor, and like the 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 the, the texture profile is more like um like a, like a mince meat, I guess. Hmm. Like, what is the name of the plate? It's chili con veggie. Chili. Okay. It's like a chili. It's chili con carne made with beans, just beans and lentils. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah, I'm gonna try making it. Yeah, one sec, I'm actually going to post, where, where I will you? post it in the voice text for everyone to see now, because I'm going to upload this video, did I, please tell me, I only streamed, oh my god, it's going to have all the drop frames and shit, anyways, um, oh well, hopefully it's still good content, uh, so what I'll do is I'll go to the thing now, and anyone who wants to see what I've been doing can look at the recipe, chili, con veggie, now I adjusted this a little bit, um, but it's the same recipe. It's halved, and I've added like some cor some cayenne because I prefer like the smoky chili. Um, 
but that's about it. Everything else is the same. And this is like, good, I cook this at the start of the week. If you don't want to freeze it, it lasts like two, three weeks in the fridge perfectly fine. Um, because it's just fucking simmered down beans. It's good shit. See how it's all starting to like, be a bit thicker. Yep. Everything's coming together. We're looking pretty good. Rex, invite me to Intellectualist. What? Invite me to Intellectualist. Doesn't Intellectualist right. have like a generic link? I just I think so, right? Too lazy. I'm sure Please? if you type in discord.gg forward slash right. Intellectualist, you can go there. The, severe, the, the severely inferior server to the Calliopean Club, discord.gg forward slash Calliopean Club, C A L L I O P E A N C L U B, as seen on screen. Alright, I invited you. Hmm. I love how they have the chats divided up based off of politics, theory, music. That's like the, the low IQ take of like not understanding that everything is politics. Oh shit, Sen joined you! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my son, okay, I, I, don't, I don't want you Ooh. on the server, man. Um, you know, like, when your son starts watching porn on, like, his phone, so you have to take it away? That's why I have to do the send right now. <laughs> How do you fucking... I, I, I thought about that recently. How do you fucking handle that, like, as a parent? Like, I don't know. I... God. I, I mean, it depends if you're against it or not. Like, you're not, right? Like, I don't know. Me? Like, it, I, it, it would depend on the age. Yeah, so like you're 16, like, you come into your fucking 16 year old son beating his dick to Pornhub or something. Like, what do you oh, fucking oh, do? If, if, he, if he was 16, I, I would just walk out. I'd just be like, okay. Boys and girls, just walk out. Because I feel like like the like, access. Uh, I'm, I'm a center righty, but it, it's just like I, I understand that like you know. I feel like they should be taught the lesson. Discretion is the better part of valor. <laughs> based. Based. Absolutely <laughs> fucking based. <laughs> I would beat the shit out of my son's ass and be like, don't do it, you degenerate. You're going to become a furry at this point. <laughs> yes. Become. No. <laughs> no degen allowed. I mean, I, hopefully I would have instilled into my children a sense of moderation and discipline so that when they do encounter such a situation, they don't overdo it. That that would be my plan long term. I think the it's way like, around I'm not... it. No, no, you first then. I feel like the way around it is that you already give them a healthy environment where this isn't their like recourse or something, and then yeah, like yeah. The, like it's like it's like uh, stop people from getting colds by putting them in like bath water. It's like that's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's like you know I'm not against my kids drinking. I'm just against them doing it when they put themselves in a bad situation and they're not thinking ahead and, um, you know, or it becomes a problem, right? I actually think my parents handled this pretty well. Like, my parents are fucking alcoholics, right, in retrospect. But, <laughs> like, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, oh, it's so cute, like, they drink all the time. Like, I'm talking, like, no, we'd start, like, look at the clock, wait until fucking noon, crack open a fucking cold beer and be beating the shit out of each other by, like, 9pm, right? It just wasn't fun. Um, I'm in. <laughs> but like you come from a family of boxers holy fuck. ideal nuclear family but like <laughs> but like like fair enough right so like but here's like here's the way they handle it was right basically like we'll give you a space where you can safely engage in things that we consider reasonable right if you want to have a drink yeah. you can have you can bring your friends over you can have a drink in the garage where we can keep an yep. eye on you yep. and make sure that you're not drinking too much um if you want to like yep. smoke weed let us know um like, we'd rather you didn't do it all the time, because it just makes people lazy. Yep. But if you want to fucking smoke a joint, smoke a joint, right? It's not, not a big deal, as long as there's only a space yep. where we can keep an eye on you and make sure that everything's safe, right? And I think that's actually a pretty... Pardon? So that, that, that's mm -hmm. funny, because that's how my parents were. No, Don, yeah. that, that's, that's, that's fucking... Dude, you know what's hilarious? My friends came over to my, uh, to my house a couple months ago. We were celebrating my roommate's birthday. And my, my mom was inviting all of my friends to smoke hash with her. 
like to, to smoke to smoke the, the marriage of Wab Gobna. And, and everyone was like, yo, your mom smokes. I was like, I never knew she did. Because, <laughs> like, here's the thing, like, I think that, like, I don't drink a lot these days. I drink, like, because I enjoy, like, I, I drink, like, cocktails. That's about it, right? And I might have a beer with mates. But I think that led to me having, like, less drinking overall and just, like, not doing drugs at all. Instead of, like, me, like, wanting to right. rebel against my parents because my parents were chill about it. It just sounds like you had a great support system growing up, which didn't cause, it, like... Did you not hear about my parents drinking, like, incessantly and beating each other? <laughs> <laughs> like, um... Well, I think they brought you a safe space, though. It seems like... How... It's, you can have like both sides, right? I mean, yeah, you can... yeah, yeah. There's all price to pay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so like, are you, jo I, are you I, joking? What? No, I'm not. I, I, I'm literally I, not joking, by the way. Oh my god! Oh, I can tell he's not joking. No, he's my being dead ass about, Like being an orphan as like a joke, but he's like actually seriously an orphan. It's like really fucked up. Oh my yeah. god! I'll tell you, deal with it. Um, I, with me, it's kind of similar. It's like. I could get as fucked up as I want as long as like my grades and everything were okay. They literally did not give a fuck. And I was like, I was a three point eight GPA student, so it's like they didn't give a shit when I drank. Yeah. So it's like as long their mentality was okay. We're not gonna make it the big red button you can't push, right? Like we're going to slowly instill to you this discipline, this practice, so that you know what it's like, you know how to do <coughs> yourself, and yeah. then you have. The structure to be like hey this is a bad situation versus a good situation and it's like once they instill that then they're like you know what you're in college we know you're gonna drink and smoke and do all the shit you're allowed to do that as far as you want just don't get in trouble yeah so and they know i would never drink and drive that'd be that's pretty yeah. cool they they know i would never drink and drive so it's just like they don't care but I don't know, I'm starting to get like the point in my life where I actually have to start thinking about these things. I don't know. Like, could I have kids soon? It's pretty reasonable <laughs> assumption to make because like, I'm like 30. Have kids soon? Maybe. It's something we talk yeah. about. It's like, I don't know, like, because like. Kyo is based on averages. What? <laughs> oh, you're right. It's, it's about 30 that a lot of people nowadays are having kids. Yeah. So the idea here is that like. It's something that we have to talk about because, like, we're a little bit worried about my partner having endometriosis. Um, if she does or doesn't, or what's going on, she's got a lot, a lot of medical issues going on, and I'm pretty insecure financially. So, like, this year I'm really pushing to do something that's going to put me in a more secure financial position. I, I'm doing um, I'm doing a safety degree. I already have five years in doing safety, so if I can apply for like safety management jobs within the company I already am in now which I'm already well known for doing safety stuff in, I can probably move straight into like a 100k job because um, it's the average for the industry. Right. Um, so I'm already like, I don't know. I've, I've, I'm at the point where I finished, I figure out I can't like, one, my degree isn't going to earn me any money. Teaching just like, right. an entry, like an entry level job in safety is equivalent to like a principal's wage. <laughs> right. So like... Yeah, the... Uh... The job I'm fucking aiming for, it's entry level pain, is around 75k. Yeah, right. So And teachers are about 60. Uh, in, in the US, actually, if it's 75k in the US, it's probably like a... It, teachers get like 40 entry. It, it varies, yeah. It can vary from state to state. But then cost of living has to be factored in. Which Why would nobody you... ever fucking does. Yeah. Why would you like... have? I don't understand this. Why have like a four year degree job? Right, which is going to be like entrusted to the future of your fucking like, um, to the future like generations, where you're only going to have people mm. coming in who just like aren't like very suited for much else. I don't understand. That. I don't understand why you wouldn't be like create, oh, oh, uh, why you wouldn't that, have teaching that, be one of the highest paying jobs in the country with the highest level of qualifications. Like like uh, like I think like Norway does this pretty well, where anyone who wants to come in can get paid a hundred a hundred and something k on entry, um. But you have to have a master's in education. You have to be really fucking well versed and really yeah, ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was going to add to that. So the way that they do it is that you get way more money if you have a master's degree. First of all, second of all, um, if it depends what the school is. My high school had what we called the CTE program, Career Technical Education, and we had people who were anywhere from associates to master's degrees in education, but they had been working as accountants or something for like 20 plus years. Yeah. Right? 
or 10 years, and they would come in and they were paid fucking bank just to teach us real life skills, anywhere from personal financial management to marketing to accounting to Word and PowerPoint and Excel and Access to uh, horticulture to a military program to all sorts of shit. Yeah. And we actually got cert certifications that if we just graduated with a GED and nothing else, we would be paid anywhere from three to eight bucks more an hour from local industries. Yeah. And then that also helped you get into colleges being like, hey, I'm certified in business management due to this program because I took these fucking classes. The universities go, oh, shit, he went above and beyond. Let's take yeah. him. You know, so it, it's like it, it, it entirely varies from school to school how they do it. Look at that shit. That's some good because fucking even, that's some good ass chili. I'm pretty happy with that. Even in my university, we had a, uh, my law professor had, did not have a master's in education or anything. He was just, he was just a master's in law. So, but he, he had, like, been a prosecuting attorney for, like, 30 plus years at the University of Miami in Ohio, which is, like, big, big fucking Ivy League. Never lost a fucking case, came to fucking teach at some random ass mountain public school, and they got him probably pretty cheap. And now he just chills, and he's like way overqualified for where he teaches. Yeah. So it, it entirely depends on the individual public schooling program. And technically, where I go to is a public university, so it's counted. Yeah. Still, but, like, overall, like, I don't understand, like, we as a society, and this isn't just, like, America, right? Australia does this. Like, oh, most yeah. countries do this, right? Why we undervalue education so much for, like, something that sets up the next generation of people that requires a fucking four-year. It's probably just because, I, I don't know, with my experience of teachers, I've always been respectful, but a lot of them are, are not as educated in their fucking subject as they should be. Um... When one of your students knows more history than you do, and they've looked at it just off of the fucking internet and history channel, it's a little sad. I think that it's a bit unreasonable sometimes to... Like, once you, like, get into it, you understand, like, exactly how much teachers have to learn as far as a curriculum goes. I don't think it's unreasonable for kids, yeah, like, to learn... Yeah, they're a jack-of-all-trades yeah. master of none, right? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying, is that they're, they're, they're good as a jack-of-all-trades, but then they actually get their job, and it's like, oh, we need you to teach American history 1950s to modern times. It's like, oh, I didn't specialize in this, but I have a general knowledge. And then they, if, if they don't adapt, they teach the same shit for five fucking years and never fucking change, right? Yeah. Because a lot of them just don't give enough of a fuck, too. But like, okay, how many teachers are, especially in a random ass fucking top 5,000, we're talking like top 30%, it's so some random ass mountain high school, how many teachers can teach an entire fucking class at an honors level ne never using the textbook once? I've only seen that with one teacher and I went yeah. to two different high schools. One a lot more prestigious than the other. So the thing is, is that it's simply down to the teachers that are being hired. There's just not enough that are actually specialized in the specific subjects that they're teaching because high schools just don't have that ability to do that a lot. Well, it just doesn't seem like people like have the budget there, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. Well, it's also just hard to find that skill set, right? It's like, okay, so we're having a history class, and we have enough money to differentiate, I don't know, American history into two different subjects, like... 1900s and above versus like 1900s and below right it's like we have enough of a budget to actually do that which some high schools don't yeah um so okay now we need two different teachers do we actually have a teacher who's a specialist and isn't like a math edu you know a math a minor but education major right and we're forcing them into a history class that's what a lot of high schools do yeah and it's like what the fuck are you doing and then imagine my shock when you don't really learn anything because you're reading straight out of the fucking textbook but then you realize the sad part is university is no different i had a class it's a level 200 fucking class it's eastern religious traditions this woman taught straight out of the fucking textbook, and we learned shit about Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism. We learned absolutely fucking shit. Yeah. And it was a public university. 
So you're like, you're just realizing that yes, they, they A, don't have the budget, but then B, there's just isn't the skill set in the market because you're just going to have to find so many individuals. To be fair, C, to. it's also about the time. It's not just the time of like the educator has to like, study each subject every day and come back to class and come up with like new pedagogy and new ways to teach it. It's not just out of the fucking mm. textbook, which a lot of people just default to, right? Like, there's no ways, like, you have to, like, come up with, like, exercises to get, like, people involved and stuff, right? But it's also the time yeah. of the students in that, like, you have to condense such a significant in amount hour. of information into, like, an hour every day for the next three years. You have to literally teach, like, the entirety of history, the entirety of maths, the entirety of English, the entirety of fucking geography to fucking, like kids who don't have the attention span for this, right? Let alone in fucking yep. university, where you're condensing even more information into an even shorter time. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah. Like, we're sometimes expected to, shorter, to fucking put out... The same amount. Like, let me put this in, like, perspective, right? I took an American history course. It's one semester, right? And I had to learn the entirety of American history from fucking... from slavery to fucking now, um, including World War One, World War Two, these incredibly complex topics, right? So I could teach that in fucking high school over one semester. Like, the amount of right. time they expect you to learn, like, these, these incredibly complex topics in is, like, fucking insane. Yeah, exactly. It's like, American history, like... Uh, lots of lots of uh, it's sad lots of american students bitch about american history not realizing that despite our short history it's rather fucking complicated especially at the political scale and yeah. it's like it takes uh, the reason why we learn it from late elementary school all the way up to university is because there's a lot of fucking shit to cover i took a religion in america class and holy fucking shit i never thought religion in america could be so fucking complicated just from one class yeah and that's just one perspective right there's then the war the politics the economics everything else the cultural the linguistic oh my god and it's like you're condensing all these different perspectives into such a small fucking space to learn it in a semester or two, depending what your uh, high school or middle school structure is like. Mm. Uh, my first high school, we, we actually took a class for two semesters. Mm. So, I saw a reporter um, not... uh, American history from like 1750 to 1800. And that was just like an entire class, like for 50 years. Yep. Like, Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah, that exactly. Was, even that was like, by the way, we're only go. We're gonna have to do a lot of skimming here because actually we don't have enough time to cover the topics. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're like, you're like, holy fucking shit! How much shit is actually here in this baby little fucking country? And you're like, and then you start doing some independent research. Which, by the way, I wish high schools encourage ah. independent research. That is one thing I do wish that we could... Like, Like, I feel like assessments do this sometimes. By the way, just a quick note for the people like still like do the cooking stuff right. This is the consistency you want the chili at, right? So I can like push it and it moves aside like that. Can you can you like show it on the spoon or in the ladle or whatever? So on the spoon you can see it's like sticking to the back of the spoon but you want it a little bit thicker than the classic sauce consistency. So like what you want is to have it like just to like push around. It's like a little bit shorter. It's like just where you can see like the beans and stuff without seeing like a water level on top of it. Um, so you can see like mm. like that, right? I think that's a really good fucking chili consistency. What we do here is we check the beans, right? The kidney beans are going to be the ones that take the longest to cook. And they should be... You can cook this for as long as you want. The longer you cook it, the better it's going to taste, right? Um, it's like yeah. a bolognese consistency. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, um, so is it better to, like, to just slow cook it for, like, you know, a day or something? Or to, like... So this is about as, like, probably the shortest I'd, like, recommend cooking it. Mm. But I usually cook it for four to eight hours. Mm. With, like, a lid on, right? Like, this is lid off, like, simmering it down, reducing it. If I could, like, lid on... Uh, leave it for like a couple of hours. I'll go out. I'll like set it up. I'll have the chili boiling <laughs> there, and I might sit in the next room and play like video games or something, and come back and check it after like a game of league and see how it's coming along. Stir it. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot. Make sure the the, the temperature is as low as possible. So this is like incredibly crock potable. Is what you're saying? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, oh that fucking tastes really good too. Right. Holy shit! The difference in taste from like when I first put everything into that is amazing. Oh, yeah, because everything's cooking in far longer. Oh, yeah. That's, like, fucking perfect. I'm so happy with that. 
So there uh, we go. So yeah, it's like, it's go like on. um, that that yeah, you and I were talking about. It's the sad part that a people don't give enough of a shit in school as it is, and part of that is the problem on the student. Part of it's the problem on the system. Part of it's on the teacher, right? And the teacher has to sit there and fucking play, uh, you know, jumping jacks, trying to figure out how the fuck am I going to entertain my students with this probably ultra boring subject. A, yeah. But then B, it's like, how do I foster in some way these people to independently study how do i prepare these motherfuckers for college that's what assessments are supposed to do but people fucking hate doing them same with like tests right. tests are supposed to like get people not so much tests actually tests are like more testing your knowledge but assessments are supposed to be you're supposed to assess like not just what you think of assessments right where like so like here's the thing in education right assessments are way more complicated than you think they are, right? Almost everything yeah. you do on a day-to-day -day basement is being assessed by a teacher, right? Whether you think so or not. So, like, what you do in the classroom, what you're writing down, teachers fucking assess all of it. They see your notes at the end of the day. They see how you learn. They assess all of it. They write it all in notes. I'm sure as shit that if you go back and you see your old teachers, they will have diaries that they've written in every single day oh, yeah. while they're watching... tracking who's asking questions, who's not. Oh, yep. yeah. And they, they're not just tracking exactly. who's asking questions, they're, they're tracking, like, how they're answering the questions, how everything's going, right? Um, it's, like, surprising, like, how in-depth... I'm going to stop the stream now, because that's pretty much, like, the chili done, and I hope that everyone, like, gives it a try, and if you have, if you do try it, fucking, like, tag me in Discord, or fucking, like, Twitter, or fucking whatever, right? And let me know how you, like, Where's turn the it. the recipe? Don't forget to subscribe. So I've posted, I've posted the recipe, <laughs> so the recipe will be in the bottom of the description, but I've also posted it in voice text for everyone, like, following along on Discord. That's the, Hit the that Jamie Oliver like Pardon? Hit that fucking like button, bitch! Alright, cool, I'm gonna stop stream. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out.